Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Super Tuesday. Welcome to the month of March. I'm exactly one month away from my job as Chief Meteorologist at Blue Water Broadcasting. I am excited about that. Hey, uh, March coming in like a lion tonight across our state. Apparently so. We have another severe weather threat. But let me say a couple of things up front. This is nothing like the severity and magnitude of that storm system last week. Nevertheless, it is a severe weather threat. We're going to have to watch it carefully, and of course we will. Now, since I made this video yesterday, the timeline of the storms is quicker, and while you slept overnight, the severe weather threat has edged southward. I'll show you those maps. First, let's take a look at uh, some morning commute problems. Watch out, dense fog advisory in effect for much of south and southeast Alabama until 8 o'clock this morning. It's going to slow you down. Visibility is down to below a quarter of a mile in some spots. Early this morning, uh, already a severe thunderstorm watch. Portions of eastern Oklahoma and stronger storms coming into Arkansas at that hour. This is the map of the Super Tuesday states today. And unfortunately, the weather is not going to play nice with a lot of those states. And you can see the big area of showers and storms moving across the middle of the country through the, the heartland of the south. But at noon today, uh, much of us are dry and just breezy and warm with a high in the 70s. The storm's holding off till late in the day. 76 is your high today. 70% chance of storms tonight. Southwest winds at about 7 to 15 miles per hour, a little gusty today. And from the Storm Prediction Center, they have extended a little farther to the south now. There's slight risk for today, including now Montgomery and Auburn and, uh, let's see, down to around the Greenville area. And a marginal risk covering much of southeast Alabama except the Dothan area. 7 o'clock tonight, we see the, uh, the line of stronger storms now across uh, the I-20 corridor around the Birmingham area. 9 o'clock, uh, moving into around Lake Martin and uh, towards South and uh, Demopolis and heading on southeast. We're at 10 o'clock tonight around Tallahassee and Auburn and Montgomery and uh, down to the Camden area around midnight tonight. The storms have weakened and probably are not severe anymore around Eufaula and Troy and to the Andalusia area. So look for in the severe weather risk area, especially the slight risk, damaging wind 60 to 70 miles per hour, possible quarter size hail. A brief tornado cannot be ruled out. Uh, this is not the magnitude of last week, but, uh, you know, it's another severe weather situation we're going to have to watch very carefully. Tomorrow morning, the storms, uh, the showers are exiting southeast Alabama around Dothan. Colder air comes into the state. By Thursday p.m., another front moves in and more scattered showers by late Thursday into Thursday night across the area before it turns cooler again on Friday. Friday's high only 62. Look at Thursday morning's low, 37. We'll have a few cool mornings out there, and then we start to warm up. 69 Saturday, 72 on Sunday, so another great weekend ahead. Now let's look at the global models. This is the European out 10 days. You see the big cool down and those cooler mornings, especially around uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday morning. But then notice also the blue bars at the bottom. The showers tonight, Thursday night, more showers. Then maybe storm-free for seven days. Boy, that would be nice until the following Friday. This is the GFS out 16 days, showing the cooler day on Wednesday and the cooler day Friday. And then we start to warm up. Big warming as we get into uh, especially Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and beyond into the middle of March. Hey, yesterday we did uh, that shout out for the Jefferson Middle School 6th grade class. And Mrs. Maddox sent us this picture. They saw the shout out. And uh, hey, kids, I hope uh, today the weather's not too bad in Jemison. We're going to be watching the radar carefully uh, for that severe weather threat coming into your area. And this is a great picture that Lisa up at uh, Lake Jordan sent us uh, yesterday evening showing sunset there. Lisa, I hope you're getting a little bit better. I know you're, um, you're, you've are you been down with surgery here lately, but uh, thank you for sending this beautiful picture. Lisa gets to see shots like this all the time from her house. Obviously, uh, I'll be here covering severe weather for you tonight. Of course I will. Uh, but uh, I don't know where you see these videos, but you get the extra weather coverage where I'm able to post on my Facebook weather group, Rich Thomas Weather, and also on Twitter, at Rich Forecaster, where the warnings, by the way, are automatic. Boy, I hope you have a chance to get out and vote today. It is an honor. It is a privilege. It is our right. And it is our duty. I'll see you at the polls. Rich Thomas Weather